What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to say you want to write, you want to report. This is journalism. You're journal. Oh you want to be. God. Ah! You're right. This is it. You want to be a journalist. That's absolutely right. So as a magician, I love creating impossible moments, blowing people's minds. But as a wordsmith, I'm fascinated by the power of words and language and how it can shape and form our reality. So I'm going to do an experiment with some people out here on the streets. I'm going to try and get a few people to think of an ocean-based job or a job out there in space. Now you should follow along with the words I'm using. Perhaps you'll find yourself thinking of those things too. Hey guys, uh, I'm doing a little clip on careers and the choices we make. Are you happy to help us out for a minute? So, All right, I'm Adam and... Adrian. Adrian, pleasure. All right, nice thanks for you, stopping to help us out. You're welcome. Right. Uh, so today we're talking about careers and how people in their lives can influence, especially with their words, what we become and what we don't become, okay? Uh, so what I found is when we're a kid, uh, we have this sea of opportunity in front of us, all these paths that we can immerse ourselves in. And if we tied all those together, then maybe we'll be out of our depth. They say like Captain Jack of all trades is a master of none, right? Uh, so what we do is like as we float through life, like to, to help regulate that pressure, we uh, we kind of like find something safe rather than just plunging into the unknown, you know, and, and while it might divert us from our path, uh, it often feels a, a lot more welcoming to choose something that's more of a sure shot. Uh, so if you could picture your life as a blank canvas right in front of you, uh, what career comes to mind? Marine biologist. A marine biologist? Yeah. Amazing, okay. So if you could picture your life as a blank canvas right in front of you, what career comes to mind? Diving instructor. A diving instructor. That's not actually what you wanted to be when you grew up though, is it? No, this is not. not really. Look at me, look at me. I want you to think about what it is you actually wanted to be. This is a snowboarding instructor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're a snowboarding instructor. This is with the body, this is people. You want to be, you want to be a chiropractor. This is it, you want to be a chiropractor. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah? I don't know how you do that. I had this teacher in school, Mr. Kemp, and he would look around the class and without giving any names, he would say, that he had a few people in mind who would extremely underachieve and a few people who would achieve more than they could possibly hope for and he knew which would be which and he never said who. I always took that personally and I saw that as a reason to be the exception. I wanted to shoot for the stars. Uh, you okay to help? Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, uh, Luke, right? Yeah, yeah, Adam, nice to meet you. Okay, uh, Luke, um, okay, so like, we've all had those teachers who've inspired us, authority figures who've maybe even put us off of careers that we hoped for. Yeah. And, and what I found is when we're young, we have all this space to explore what we want to be when we go up, right? And it's like the world's at our feet and the sky's the limit. This is what they say, but it's obviously not quite the case. Yeah. And I found the art is uh, to find whatever propels us, whatever gives us that buzz of inspiration and then gravitate towards that. Uh, and the more that we do, if we take that one small step towards our dreams, I find it doesn't grind us under. Life will lift us up, yeah. it will reward our courage, and it will launch us on our mission. And all of those greats who have uh, surpassed light years uh, beyond their competition, this is what they did. They, they trusted themselves enough to take this giant leap of faith and pursue their dream. Yeah. So if you were to see your life as a blank canvas, out in front of you, what career would you choose? Astronaut. An astronaut, yeah, amazing, sure. okay, okay. And would your family be supportive of this? Yeah, of course. Gone light years ahead of the competition, these people trusted themselves enough to take that giant leap into, into the mix and pursue their dream. So uh, if we're like imagining your life as a blank canvas, uh, what is it that you see for yourself? Rocket scientist. A rocket scientist. Amazing. Okay, well, I could see that. If you were to see your life as a blank canvas in front of you, what career comes to mind right now? What Astronaut. Career? Astronaut. What career do you see for you? Astrophysicist. An astrophysicist. There's only a few people who really make it up yeah. there. Um, but give me a hand for a minute. Um, this isn't actually what you wanted to be when you grew up, though, is it, Luke? Look at me. Think about what you actually wanted to be. Think back to when you were a little boy and you're telling somebody and you're telling them. I want you to know that regardless of how old we get, it's never too late to pursue our passions. We can always do what it is we wanted to do. I can tell from your vibrance you've got creativity in you and it tells me you probably wanted to do something that involved creating and building and making stuff with your hands, with these hands. Yeah. Is that right? Is yeah. right? I want to say, I was going to say engineer. No, you want to work with is this woodwork? You want to be a woodworker? Is this right? Is it what do you want to be when you grow up? Yeah. What was it? A carpenter. A carpenter. Amazing. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, this is still mechanical. This is something yep. that still involves intelligence, the dissect of information. I want to feel that rather than our, that this is still another world of some sort. This is computer. This is computer related. This is computer. I want to feel that you're playful. This is it. We could see this. This is a. Uh, 
I want to say you want to design video games. A video game? You want to play yes. games? Yeah? yeah? What is it? What do you want to be? Video design. A video game? Design. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, you... All right. That's pretty good. That's... I want to say like a youth worker, a council worker. Is this right? How do you even get that far? What is it? How's youth worker? You want to be a youth worker? Mate, oh, you should do it. You should bro. definitely do it. How do you do that, bro? I just want to let you know. How old are you? 19. 19. You can be whatever you want, mate. The world is still yeah, yours. Thanks, you can bro. make this happen. Youth worker slash musician. <laughs> Amazing. I love magic and I like to look up magic and I watch all the Penn and Teller stuff. No clue how you did that. I want to be a chiropractor when I grow up. Oh, did. <laughs> <laughs> so the question I have to ask you is, what do you want to be when you grow up?